Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is time for a Lakers update. So I have a lot of updates for you. Most of them are not the greatest of news, but something really fun did happen at the game that we played against the Golden State Warriors. At the beginning of the game, Igadawa, who is on the Golden State Warriors, came out and had an awesome, awesome championship ring from 2018 to give to JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee had played with the Warriors for the 2018 finals and they won, but there hadn't been an opportunity for them to give him his ring as of yet. It was planned for him to get the ring back in December when we played them on Christmas Day. That was gonna be a nice big surprise for him, but something happened, it didn't work out, so they ended up giving it to him just recently. He was so excited. It was really cute because Iguodala, when he first gave it to him, opened the box, which was empty, the ring was not in there, and then he pulled the ring out and surprised him with it. That was a really fun start to the game. Unfortunately, we lost the game, but it still was a really fun start to the game. And it, of course, put a huge smile on JaVale McGee's face. Also, this was JaVale McGee's second NBA championship ring. That is awesome. Hopefully his next championship ring will be with the Lakers. I'm sure that's not gonna be this year, but there's always next season. We're still hopeful. I also wanna let you know that right now they are accepting applications. You can apply to go meet the Lakers and have your picture taken with the entire team. You can apply very, very easily on the Lakers app. I've applied. I'm sure I'm gonna win, so you probably don't need to waste your time, but I recommend you go on and apply and try to get in to win that prize. Other news since I last saw you, LeBron is back. So LeBron did come back, he played one game, and then unfortunately he was out for the next game. He overplayed and needed to take a break. So he is now back again. They're still not doing well. I think that LeBron still is in recovery mode. He's playing, but he isn't playing his hardest because of course he's still trying to be careful. He doesn't want to re-injure himself. There's only a limited amount of time that he's been cleared to play in each game. Game. So he's out on the court during the most important times of each quarter. The first game he was back, they did win. Of course, the second game when he didn't play, unfortunately, they lost. Lonzo Ball is still out. He is still injured, and there are absolutely no updates regarding his injury or when he'll be back. However, there have been some other updates with Lonzo Ball. There's been a new trade deal that's been going around that actually just got canceled, didn't go through, but the Lakers were trying to trade for Anthony Davis from the Pelicans. It became so extreme. The Lakers were offering four of their young players and a first round draft pick. That ended up increasing to even more important players. It got to the point that the Lakers offered any player on their team as an option other than LeBron. They were willing to give up any of their players and first round draft picks, in order to get Anthony Davis, who is an amazing player. However, it all fell apart. The Pelicans started asking for too much. At one point, they were asking for six to eight draft picks, as well as four players from the Lakers, including Kuzma, Ingram, Lonzo, and Zubak. There were other names thrown around in there, but on top of that, they also wanted a buyout of Anthony Davis's current contract. They just started getting too greedy and asking for too much. Magic Johnson finally stated that after their most recent offer, the Pelicans never even responded. So he ended up saying that the deal was off. Since then though, there's been a lot of backlash from Lonzo Ball's father, LeVar Ball. He has been so upset regarding this, the idea that the Lakers could potentially trade his son. There have been issues with LeVar Ball in the past where he has made comments that basically state that his children are the best. He has one son who's getting ready to be ready for a draft, another son who's still in high school. He's indicating that he's looking for a team for all three of them to play on together because if that happens, he claims that this is gonna be the most amazing winning team because all three of them are there to win. He has also made comments that the Lakers, and especially because of this, have given Lonzo a losing attitude. 
and he is really upset that they even suggested it. So at this point, he does not want Lonzo to stay on the Lakers. He certainly didn't want them to go to him to go to the Pelicans either, and he even made a comment that if Lonzo went to the Pelicans, it didn't mean he actually would have to play, that he could make the choice and that he might not even participate in the game, which is really poor sportsmanship. Like I said, that trade deal didn't go through, but another one did. We did get a new player. His name is Reggie Bullock. He's been playing in the NBA for six years. He's a guard, and he is one of, actually last year he was rated the second highest three-point scorer in all of the NBA. He has approximately a 44% average shooting three-point shots, which is exceptional, and he is going to be a great asset to this team. I can't wait to get to know him more. Once he starts playing on the team, of course, I'll give you an update on him and a little more information. I'm hoping that he plays in the game tonight. Today is Thursday, February 7th, and there is a game tonight. This video will be posted tomorrow, which will be Friday morning. So of course this game will be over, but I'm hoping that with their new player and LeBron back, hopefully we can pull out a win. The next game is Sunday, February 10th, at 12.30 p.m. We're gonna be playing the 76ers, and this game will be aired on ABC if you wanna check it out. We'll be watching, hopefully the Lakers will do good. Hopefully at least now we'll start having all of our players well, healthy, uninjured, able to play so that they can all start learning to play together again. I'm sure that unfortunately the finals are out of the picture for the Lakers this year. But now we have to start working toward next year. We have to start working on bringing this team together and playing together as a team so that we can win and make it into the finals next year. That is my goal. But for now, I'm gonna keep following the Lakers. I'm gonna keep providing you with updates. Hopefully they'll just continue to do better every week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.